April 12, 1981, the first manned and reusable spacecraft, Columbia, lifted off Pad 39 at Kennedy Space Center with astronauts John W. Young and Robert L. Crippen at the controls. The 36-orbit, 54-hour flight success was due in part to support provided by Air Force Systems Command Space Division and its detachments around the world in this joint NASA Air Force program. The key objective of the flight was testing and evaluating the various shuttle systems. A highly critical objective was satisfied when astronaut Crippen successfully tested the opening and closing of the space shuttle's cargo bay doors. This was important because of the need to expose the large radiators on the inside of the doors that dissipate heat from the onboard systems. In the future, space shuttles will be launched and recovered from equatorial orbits at Kennedy Space Center. Polar orbits will be flown from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Edwards Air Force Base will continue to be a backup recovery base for both types of orbital flights. The perfect landing at Edwards Air Force Base on April 14th concluded the first manned space tests with three more orbital flight tests to go. The space shuttle and the other systems you have seen are a few of the highlights of Air Force Systems Command research, development, test, evaluation, contracting, and manufacture. Only by vigorous and progressive programs can we maintain the edge in aerospace power. <laughs>